Welcome everybody, this is Shadow Child back from TriGamer Studios here with another how-to video. And this tutorial was going to be on how to use custom resource packs for custom skins for Pixelmon. Now it took me uh, a little bit to figure out how to really do this. And we'll go ahead and share with you how I was able to do this. Let's get out of that view. <laughs> Just to show you that it does work. <clears throat> go ahead and go to NPC Trainer. Under Steve. Custom resource pack. And let's go ahead and do Ash. And now Ash will pop up along with the other ones I put in here, like Brock, Surge, all those fun ones. Now let me show you how to do this. First you're going to want to locate your Minecraft folder or whichever folder that you're running Minecraft from. You go type in percent app data percent, eh, not, not those funny things. Come on out, there you go. Now your app data folder show up, click enter, go into it. Now I'm running Pixelmon off the Technic Launcher. So I'm going to go into the Technic Launcher, Mod Packs, Pixelmon Reforged, and Resource Packs. Now here's the resource pack I created. To do this, you're going to create your own resource pack, and you're going to use these skins. Or you can download my, my resource pack once it's finished being fully completed. I'm working on adding tons of skins to it so I can use them in game and on my server. So first thing we want to do in here is create a new folder. Uh, we're going to go ahead and resource pack test. After that's done, we're going to go ahead and go into it. Now in here, we're going to need to create a specific file. I see it's the pack MC meta. Let's go ahead and open that up. This is what it looks like. That's all it is. I'll put this in the description below. Uh, you make sure it's this way or it's not going to show up and you got to make sure it's saved as an MC metadata as an MC meta and not a text file uh, I would advise using notepad plus plus it's a free program and it's very important to use now this is the when you're just you're just going to copy and paste this into your notepad plus plus because inside of here all you do is new and then you can just do new text document or create a text box document and drag it into here from plus plus depending on which one you want to do I just do plus plus and do it this way you're since we're using pixelmon and 1.12.2 if that's what you're using this with uh, you're going to want to change the pack format to 3 that means that it's 1.12.2 the description I put it pixelmon extra skins so we know it is but it really description really doesn't matter especially if you're just using it for yourself so let's go ahead and copy this, exit out of that, go back to this new pack test, and we're going to go ahead and go new text document. We're going to name it pack MC meta, and then click yes because you want it to change. We're going to go ahead and click on that and it's going to open it up. And we're just going to post, copy that into it. Maybe it's fine. Then make sure you save. Now that's done, we're going to create a new folder. You want to name it Assets. Now you're going to go into Assets. First folder you want to create, you want to make, call it Pixelmon. Go inside that, create a new folder. Name it Textures. And then inside this one, create a new folder, name it Steve. And this is where you're going to be putting your textures. Now let me take a look at my other one just to make sure I didn't miss a folder because that's it's really easy to do. Assets, Pixelmon, Textures, Steve. And as you see, all of these are in here. And that's where you're going to keep it. Now that make sure there is in your resource pack forward. Now we're going to check and make sure that it's up. So we're going to go ahead and go to options, resource packs. As you see, it's up right now. Resource pack test. If I click, if I click it over, it will close out of this. It'll, of course, freeze up for a second. Close out of this Minecraft. The launcher is going to download this texture pack and it's going to come back in. But I already got this one working. Uh, so I don't need to click that over. 
it's set up the exact same way. So when you're using it, you go ahead and go to your NPC. Oops. I mean, I could use <laughs> use this. We can use this. I. Right. You want to make sure you click custom resource pack. We're gonna go ahead and delete him. We're gonna use an actual trainer. All right. You make sure you go to the model Steve, custom resource pack, and then the name that you want to name it uh, use as the name. Make sure that these are all the names are lowercase. Uh, if you're using mine, they're already lowercase. Let's go to it. As you see, they're all lowercase names, and that's the name you're going to want to put in. Not the PNG, just the, in this name. Like, so let's do Oak. And inside the file, it's just Oak PNG. Let's type in Oak, click Enter, and now it's Professor Oak. Super easy. Uh, and, and it doesn't really affect anything else. It's just an added pack. Uh, you can have anybody in your server download this pack and use it so they can see the skins. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel to see more. Like the video if you enjoyed it and find it helpful. And comment down below anything you might need help with and I'll do as much as I can. See you guys next time.